Excellencies, generals, admirals, ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. All right. Yay. Lieutenant General Wolfgang Wasserstolbe will now address the parade. Mr. Secretary General, ambassadors, admirals, generals, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your attendance at this handover ceremony today. I'm here today to hand over authority of the European Union military staff to my successor, Lieutenant General Esa Pulkinen. This marks for me the end of a fascinating period in my career, and I'm grateful to those who have entrusted me with this responsibility. Standing here today at exactly the same place as three years ago reminds me, and probably many of you, how fast time passed. It feels as I had taken over yesterday. Et pourtant, notre agenda était bien rempli pendant ces trois années. Notre politique de sécurité et de défense commune était mise à l'épreuve de manière continue. Ce n'était que dans un effort commun et global que nous étions en mesure d'affronter les accélérations à nos frontières et au-delà de celles-ci. S'il y a un point dont je pense pour être, pouvoir être fier, c'est le chemin que l'État-major et avec lui la dimension militaire de l'Union européenne a parcouru pour s'intégrer dans ce service et pour en devenir un contributeur apprécié et, je le pense, indispensable. Cette évolution s'est toujours faite en gardant l'équilibre entre nos deux rôles, celui à l'intérieur du service et celui vis-à-vis -vis des États membres. C'était un honneur un plaisir et en même temps une expérience passionnante que d'avoir travaillé avec les services extérieurs sous la direction de deux hautes représentantes et de deux secrétaires généraux. Ce travail s'est effectué pendant une période où le service extérieur n'a cessé d'évoluer vers davantage d'efficacité et une capacité renforcée d'intégrer tous les instruments à la disposition de l'Union européenne dans la conduite de son action extérieure. Je vous remercie, Monsieur le Secrétaire général, cher Alain, pour votre soutien et pour l'ouverture d'esprit avec laquelle nous, militaires, sommes accueillis par vos services. Je voudrais vous demander de transmettre ce remerciement également à Madame la Haute Représentante. Je tiens particulièrement à souligner l'excellente coopération que j'ai pu avoir avec tous les collègues du SAE. J'en garderai un très bon souvenir. Avec le SAE, l'Union européenne s'est dotée d'un instrument pluridisciplinaire de très haut niveau. C'est un privilège que d'en faire partie. Whatever it is we plan and prepare on the military side, it would not happen without Member States' consent and contribution. Therefore, the presence of PSC and EUMC here today is so important. Many ambassadors and the PSC chair being on travel today, I would ask to convey my warmest wishes for further close cooperation along with my thanks for the genuine interest you regularly showed for military questions. This remains essential for the future, where we, we will have to face more complex challenges. What I learned while working with you during these three years 
is that CSDP, Common Security and Defense Policy, is not static. It can be used and implemented in multiple ways and that all of these aspects deserve attention. There is no one side that fits it all. Each situation requires a specific set of tools. You helped to shape it. It is national armed forces which contribute to our missions and operations. Without the steady support by the military committee, this would not be possible. Even if one additional opportunity will be offered to me to thank the committee and its chairman, General Michael Kostarakos, I would clearly state here that your support was and will remain irreplaceable. I would also use this moment to express respect and appreciation for all our soldiers in missions and operations. It is their dedication which builds our success. I could not leave this post without addressing my most sincere thanks to our host nation, Belgium. You made us feel home, at home here, and I will keep this country in my heart. A most telling illustration of your support is the wonderful music you offer for this ceremony today. My warmest thanks go to the Musique Royale de Guide. Allow me to turn now to the representatives of all directorates of the European Union military staff. I know that I have put much pressure on you, and I hope you know that I was always prepared to share this pressure. Without your willingness to deal with large amounts of work, without the quality of your work, none of our achievements would have been possible. It was a privilege to have you under my command, and I am entirely confident that you will offer the same loyalty and dedication to my successor. Lieutenant General Asa Pulkinen, I wish you wholeheartedly the best of success in your new function. Our work together here, inside the staff and with all institutions represented here today, clearly tells us that we are stronger together. Thank you. Excellencies, generals, admirals, ladies and gentlemen, the handover of the EU military staff will now take place. Excellencies, admirals, generals, ladies and gentlemen, Lieutenant General Polkinen will now address the parade. All right. Okay. Oh. 
Mr. Secretary General, Chairman of the Military Committee, members of the European Union military staff, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. It is an honor and a privilege for me to be here in front of you today. As many of you may know, this will be my third tour in the European Union military staff. When I was here for the first time as a relatively young staff officer still, and a branch chief, actually in the beginning of the century, military staff was just a newborn baby learning to take her first steps. During my second time here in Brussels as a director of operations, the military staff has already grown into a teenager, full of energy and determination, but sometimes experiencing some growing pains and irritated by its elders. Lieutenant General Wolfgang Mosel-Sobe, sir, today you are handing over to me and European Union military staff that has clearly grown into a young adult. You have continued the respected, respected work of your predecessors, almost all of whom I know and have also had the pleasure of working with. Under your command, military staff has become even more relevant actor within the EU and vis-a-vis -vis other organizations, notably United Nations and NATO. Its military know-how is sought after and respected by the member state as well as the EU structures here in Brussels. General, dear Wolfgang, I thank you and also your wife, Laurence, for your work, what you have done for the European security. My wife, Hanna, and myself, we will continue your work to bring together colleagues and friends here in Brussels. I also warmly thank you for the in in <coughs> indispensable personal advice you have given to me during the past weeks. I wish you and your family all the best for the future. Staff and personnel of the EU military staff. The EUMS, working under the direction of the EU military committee and under the authority of the high representative, will continue to be the primary source of the military expertise within the European External Action Service. The constantly changing security environment and the development of the role of the military in the EU will require us to develop, develop further our knowledge and skills. We will also continue to work in close cooperation with all relevant actors. We militaries cannot live in vacuum. As I lead this highly motivated and professional team, I will make sure I remember my own time as a young staff officer in the EUMS. We are a team, everybody is important, whatever the rank, sex or nationality and everybody's contribution is important. I look forward to working closely with all of you. With these words, ladies and gentlemen, I'm honored to take over the duties of the Director General of the European Union Military Staff. Thank you.
Excellencies, Admirals, ladies and gentlemen, I now invite the Secretary General of the European External Action Service, Ambassador Alan Lawat, to address the parade. Dear Lieutenant General Wolfgang Sobe, dear Lieutenant General Bulkinen, your Excellencies, dear friend, on behalf of the High Representative Vice President and uh, the whole European National Service, as you know, the High Representative is presenting a very important mission in Mexico, she, but she transmits her best wishes for both generals. On behalf of her, then, I am honored to address this Hanover ceremony and extend my deepest appreciation to General Bolso Sober for its outstanding contribution and collegiality over three years as Director General of the European Union Military Staff. Dear General Bolso Sober, the High Representative and myself have valued your military advice and expertise greatly in the development and execution of the EU's common security and defense policy. You have set the tone from the top, working closely with the rest of the service, with member states, with the Commission, with NATO, and with other partners, including the European Defense Agency. I thank you in particular for your leadership in supporting all our military operations and missions and promoting the European Union in the world. With six European Union military operations ongoing as we speak, with three of them launched during your time, General, and with now Uniform Med Sofia mandates growing even more important, my respect goes to you, to the commanders at all levels, and to your staff for delivering outstanding results on behalf of the European Union. Your commitment to the EU project has been true not only in the field of operations, but also in a much broader context. You have helped make the UMS a pivotal player in addressing new challenges such as hybrid threats, cyber security, and the EU's ability to maintain an autonomous defense industry. You have set the tone one more time for a forward-looking and proactive EUMS that engage in policy making beyond the pure military field. The Ukraine crisis, the Ebola crisis, and the migration challenges are among many other good examples. Covering the full range of military advice, expertise, and planning, you have led a cohesive military staff that is respected by all. You have made the European Union, but also your country and the Austrian Armed Forces proud. Dear, Vol dear General Wolfgang Sober, dear Wolfgang, thank you for all that you have done. Knowing you and your restless character, you might not be able to just stop working and lean back. I am sure that whatever comes next, you will remain an excellent ambassador of the European project, European idea. Personally, I will miss you as a fine leader of EU military staff. Always calm, always sharp in your analysis, always helpful and constructive. An excellent colleague and a good friend. Yeah, I know if in German military language we say quite simply, I'm guter Kamerad. Ou bien en français, puisque vous l'avez, chacun l'a entendu, vous êtes également en cerise sur le gâteau, un parfait francophone. Vous êtes également un merveilleux collègue, cher Wolfgang. In addition, of course, I want to extend a warm welcome back to General Eza Pulkinen from Finland, who is returning to the UMS for his third tour. General Pulkinen, Lieutenant General Pulkinen, I am sure that you will continue the tradition of excellent standards, said Jan Benerhal, also Sobo and other director generals who went before. Only 15 years after establishing the EU military staff, it is an important and indispensable service for the High Representative and for the whole EES. The EU strategic environment has changed radically during, this, during this, those 15 years. The reality of a more complex world from the backdrop for the global strategy that the High Representative will present next month. A joint opt approach is now needed not only in the external conflict and crisis, but in all aspects of the EU's role in the world. This puts a premium on all of us who are engaged in European external action to work together in synergy. With your experience and your insight, you are ideally placed to lead the UMS at this 
fascinating time, and I look forward to working with you and wish you all the best. Et pour terminer, une nouvelle fois, cher général, professeur Sauveur, cher Wolfgang, tous mes voeux pour la suite de votre carrière, et surtout, je souhaite que nous restions le plus en contact le plus étroitement possible. À nouveau, très grand merci pour tout ce que vous avez apporté à, à l'UIMS, à l'ES en général, au service de la haute représentante. Et je veux remercier également, vous savez, votre épouse ici présente pour tout l'accueil que nous avons en permanence accordé. Donc, tous mes voeux, mon général, très grand merci encore et bienvenue au général Polkinen. Merci à tous. Excellencies, generals, admirals, ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the European Anthem. All right. Attention. Excellencies, admirals, generals, ladies and gentlemen, that concludes the ceremony of the handover responsibility of Director General of the European Union Military Staff. The Director General of EUMS would now like to invite you to join him at the reception where you will be welcomed by the VIP party. In advance of the parade being dismissed, please now make your way to the reception through the main doors of this garden and follow the main corridor around to the right. Thank you for your attendance. All right. This. <laughs>